In Marion County, a team of certified officers could hold the key to minimizing crimes by defendants out on bond. Murder charges for man on GPS monitoring brought more attention to these officers and more questions about pretrial release. Tonight, we get answers about how they make recommendations on whether or not a person is released and if they could be a danger to you or your family. Fox 59's Courtney Ground staying on top of this investigative report with day three. Christy Holt's murder highlighted possible flaws in this system and Courtney, you've been exploring that. It's up to a judge to make the decisions on pretrial release. A risk assessment is done, which takes a look at a person's likelihood to return to court or be a public safety risk. And that plays a big part in a judge's overall decision. Tonight, we're taking a look at how well the probation department says this program is working. Right now, there are 1,900 people on post-conviction GPS monitoring and home detention, plus 1,500 people pre-trial for those 1,500. They're able to, you know, move around the city, community, county, whatever restrictions the court may impose um, at, their own, at their own will, as long as they do stay away from those areas in which are restricted. Chief Probation Officer Christine Curl explains risk assessments are done for all defendants for pretrial releases who do not have pending cases. The certified officer gets answers and makes recommendations to the courts. What we would do is take the assessment, which is looking at likelihood to reoffend, likelihood to show up in court, match it to the charge, the lead charges in the case. Do you guys ever recommend that someone doesn't? Get, let, get taken out of jail for pretrial. Our matrix does not have a built in. Absolutely not. No way. We have had staff that have expressed your honor. They have been on this before. This may not be something that um, would be in the best service for this individual to appear or not to appear or for public safety. Curl says since September 2019, 95% of pretrial supervision clients did not pick up new charges, but that leaves 5% who do. And that leads to questions from victims and their families. What would you want them to know about the, the system as it is in place? S sheer regret um, for, for what they've experienced, but just the rest assured and let them know that we, based upon what we actually can predict to the best of our ability with risk assessments and tools, it's not my gut, it's something that's been proven to be predictive of that. We are doing everything we possibly can to ensure that it's applied correctly and accurately. We've highlighted two cases this week of people wearing GPS monitors on pretrial release who are accused of murder. Curl couldn't comment on a pending case, but says all risk assessments of defendants must be done accurately and thoroughly. Are we ensuring that the right individuals are on the devices? And if so, if that is the if that is the court's intention, then what is it do we need to be sure that we're following through on? We also spoke with the director of community corrections about post conviction monitoring. We asked questions of that director as well as curl about the cost of GPS monitoring and where that money goes. You can find our full hour long uncut version of this interview on Fox 59.com reporting in the newsroom tonight. Courtney Crown Fox 59 News.